Hi everyone, and today we're talking about the top five payloads for the M300 in the survey industry. So at number one, we have the phase one IXM, which can be integrated onto the M300 using the P3 integration. Now, if data quality, data integrity and efficiency is all at the top of your list, then the IXM series is the perfect choice for you. It comes in two options, it comes in a 50 megapixel and a 100 megapixel camera. And this is an industrial camera with metric qualities for the best possible data sets out there. It comes with a 35 mil, a 80 mil and a 150 mil lens and can be used for both survey and inspection applications. In two, we have the Zemus L1, which is DJI's first LiDAR system produced for the M300 RTK. This is a very entry LiDAR system, but it still has plenty of applications within the survey market. Uh, very easy to use, full turnkey solution integrated into the M300 RTK. Uh, has ability to collect free returns, which makes uh, the chance of penetrating through any vegetation uh, more likely. And like most DJI payloads, the workflow and integration is very fast, very efficient, and also has an integrated RGB camera, which is the same uh, sensor as the Phantom 4 RTK. So that way that you can collect LiDAR data and colorize it very simply using DJI Terra. And at number three, we have DJI's first survey designated payload, which is the Zenmuse P1 camera. This is a 45 megapixel camera, it does come within a series of lenses as well, but what comes with it is the 35 mm lens. The Zenmuse P1 is a really great camera for survey applications if you want a smaller budget. Um, it's 45 megapixel, so efficiency and speed and data quality is there. Again, like most DJI products, uh, the integration on the N300 is uh, full turnkey, plug and play, and is integrated into the uh, DJI Pilot software. So at number four, we have the Emerson Hovermap LiDAR system, which is a SLAM-based LiDAR system, and has a multiple uses and a really versatile tool to use. You can use this on a DJI M300, you can use it walking, you can put it on a backpack, you can also even put it on a vehicle as well. Now, the SLAM algorithm on it uses the next generation of SLAM called Wildcat, which makes a much more robust, more accurate um, uh, data collection and data integrity. Um, the system is really quick and easy to use and can be uh, someone could be trained very fast uh, to use this product uh, with very, very good um, accuracies around about the 30 mil level um, for that. With it being SLAM, it can be used in GPS denied areas, which can be used internally as well as externally as well. So you can get really great ROI from this product. That's the, in the survey space, but also it has applications in the inspection space as well. The hover map comes in three packages. AL0 is what you'd be interested in if you're from the survey community, but it also has two other packages which is a bit more geared up to inspection and autonomy. AL1 basically puts a bubble or a vesh around the drone so that you can guarantee um, asset management that you're not going to come within a certain uh, radius of any plant, machinery or buildings. Um, and also there is AL2 which is full on autonomy underground or in an indoor space. So essentially it uses and maps the environment around it so that it doesn't bump into any objects. The LiDAR USA Surveyor 32 LiDAR system is built solely for the M300 RTK. It's a lightweight solution weighing at 1.9 kilograms and can produce 1.3 million points a second on dual return. It has a survey grade accuracy at a range of 90 meters and as a full transformation to British National Grid and OSTM 15 built into the software to make transformation from a global coordinate system to the UK coordinate system very simple and easy.